This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Bye, Dudley Dawson. Been a minute, Dudley, but it's good to talk to you here on the show. I see you here at Baum Stadium now, uh, almost every home game. So I, I know I'll see you later on today. How you doing? I'm doing good. Absolutely, I'll be there, especially on the day. It should be a, should be a fun midweek game with some pomp and circumstance. Absolutely, yeah, it will be pomp and circumstance. And I, I went and looked in the media guys, man. This is the first time, uh, and I, admittedly, I didn't look through like tennis and 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 softball and 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 volleyball and and whatnot. But as far as basketball, football, baseball, this is the first time an Arkansas team has ever played against Army West Point. So that that makes it is that makes it unique. Yeah, the first baseball, uh, I mean, first baseball game against the Service Academy since. Uh, 2003, which happened to be the first year of Dave Van Horn's tenure here, when they beat Navy 10-9 to in Memphis. Interesting place to be playing uh, Navy, for certain, but uh, hey, you never know with some of these college games. Um, we can talk about the baseball team in a little bit, but basketball is, is front, and, uh, front of mind for, uh, for everybody these days. Team is headed out to uh, Nashville later today. You wonder who's who's with the team, though. There's apparently some rumors flying around. We've even got a couple of the texts coming in on the text line about it, um, that there could be possible suspensions. The word suspension is thrown around as far as, as far as that's concerned. Have you heard anything? Well, you know, certainly I hear rumors. I hadn't heard anything to validate them yet. Uh, but the one thing that's about to happen is uh, – Coach Musselman's press conference is starting at 11.30, so I would say in 15 minutes we should have some type of indication because I know that one of my colleagues uh, will ask that question uh, to find out, you know, to make sure who's uh, who's all going on the trip. Certainly you hear things, but again, you, you know in this business uh, for every 20 rumors, two are right, but you better have checked out those two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dudley, what's up, man? Matt Jones here. Hey, good to hear you, but yeah, man, good talking with you too. Yeah, I wonder who's uh, who's all going on the trip. That'd be very interesting. That that being said, before we find that out, what are your thoughts on this basketball? Do you think they can make a run in SC? Should it, should I still have hope that this basketball team can make a run in this tournament? Well, you could have hope. I mean, certainly there is enough talent there, but uh, you know, I think we all can be realistic. Uh, there was a lot of hype going into the season, and it was worthwhile hype because when you get the three kids that have played in the McDonald's All-American game, that doesn't happen around mm-hmm. here that often. And you had some very good uh, portal transfers coming in. But for whatever reason, it just hadn't clicked. You know, I think the biggest thing is they just can't shoot well enough from the outside. I mean, metrics points toward that. But there's got to be something else going, you know, going on there. It just, uh, you know, it's been just, it seems like tough for, for uh, Coach Musman, who we know is a fantastic coach. Uh, has not been able to reach this team like he has the others. You know, you can point to the injuries of Brazil and, and Nick Smith, but it seems like it's gone further than that. So, yes, they could go and uh, and, Would, and really – Go ahead, I'm sorry. Well, no, I was going to ask you to your point, because just to piggyback on that, I, I would love to see basketball do the baseball rule where the kids, because I want to ask you, do you think these kids are one and done, and so they're just not all the way in? Because if you said, hey, man, if you want to go to school, uh, you got to go three years like they do in baseball, or you can go to the league right out of right out of high school if you want to. So if you're here, because it feels like maybe they're just like, well, it doesn't matter if we win or lose. We're here. I don't know if you think that has anything to do with it. Well, here's what I think was stupid, was bringing in the rule where they could just come for one year. Uh, you yes. Know, it it yes. worked fine back in the day when they jumped from high school uh, straight to the pros. If you were good enough, that's fine. If you weren't, you started selling real estate or, some, or something else, you know, for, for a job. If, uh, But, yeah, I think when you can have kids stay on campus three to four years, uh, the game was much better. Uh, I don't. Uh, deny that you should try to bring as many five stars as you can in here. That would be stupid to say it's not. But I do think that, yes, it would be hard for, let's say, uh, Brooks Dawson, my son, uh, when he was growing up, if uh, he had the opportunity to have millions uh, in the next step, it'd be hard for him to focus 100% on what he was doing in terms of the team. Now, I would drill that into him. But, uh, you know, again, I think it's, uh, it's better if they just, you know, go straight from high school to, to the pros. Now, that's not 
you know, the way you should do it in football because it's not, you know, too too physical and, and all that. But I do think that in baseball and in basketball, that's what should happen. Dudley, I and think... It's gonna, and it's going to it's going to happen real soon because they're about to throw that rule away. Well, it's what we keep hearing. We do keep hearing that. But, I mean, I think it's also a case-by-case basis in some places. Maybe this isn't the right comparison, but, I mean, Brandon Miller's pretty locked in on playing for himself and for Alabama right now. But that might be, an, you know, that might be Because a totally they're in first thing. place. I think we would be mm-hmm. locked in too, Phil. Don't you think if, if we were in first place, they'd probably have a little, we probably wouldn't, we, well, I mean, Alabama's gotta, had gotta, a lot of stuff going on in their but, program too. Yeah, yeah they have. They, there's that. But they also, they were also playing up to a pretty high level before yeah, that yeah. happened. You know what I mean? I mean, there's a, there's just something, you know, Dudley, I mean, it's, sometimes it's difficult to describe what makes a team successful and what's not. We look at talent and be like, well, that's only part of it. There's a secret sauce, you know. <laughs> There's the secret sauce, and that's what the coaches do. They're the ones that come up with the recipe, and that's the thing that's been, you can tell it's head-scratching for Musselman because he's always been able to put it together to, you know, to come out creamy and tasty and everything, and it just hasn't been right now, even though the talent's there. Well, and let's just let's just be honest about it. They haven't been mentally tough or physically tough enough. Uh, you know, I go back to the days uh, of Coach Richardson and Coach Sutton because obviously I was a manager for those guys. And if somebody came down the lane and continued to come down the lane and get and get baskets, that would stop. I mean, there was a game what, a couple weeks ago where uh, I think it was Alabama had forty six points in the paint, and that's just ridiculous. Uh, and I do I don't think there's an enforcer on this team. Uh, you know, there's certainly a lot of skill, but I think mentally and physically, they just haven't been uh, up to their talent levels in terms of what makes you a complete player. And you can at times have too much of a, too many stars or too many chiefs and not enough Indians. And I think that may be a little bit of the case here. It's probably why everybody has shouted for Joseph opinion to play and Darian Ford and some of the Barry Dunning, some of the other guys. Because they were more of the the Indians in terms of uh, glue guys and all that, but it's been tough for obviously it's been tough for Coach Musselman to figure out, and you can just tell uh, on the sidelines he's not the effervescent guy that he has been in previous seasons. But winning winning will help that. And one other thing I want to point out, you know, when they were when they went on this uh, five and two run, uh, I thought they had it figured out. Things were going to be okay. They had these three last three games against a really tough opponents. But just hadn't 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 put forth the effort at all. Yeah, for whatever reason, we were second best. All I mean, we we it's like we that Alabama. We we use all our energy. Then we go to Tennessee, and they, and they man, they were physical. And Kentucky, it was like we went up to Lexington and we punked them. We they, and so they, you could tell Coach Cal had that reverse back on going when they come back to fate. It was like, look. Don't let them punk you. We got to hit you back. And that's what they did. They hit us in the mouth. And you're right. We didn't have an enforcer. We didn't have somebody to step up and say, this isn't going to happen. And I think that's that's what you get when you when you get young. You got real young teams that don't have a lot of senior leadership out there. Yeah, and I go back to, you know, I played high school basketball with Charles Ballot time. And if somebody laid a hand on him, I was coming after him at 5'9". Right. The- and, uh, <laughs> you know. That's that, but that's a good point because Anthony Black's been getting beat up all year, and, and no, you've never seen anybody do anything. Yeah, you know what Dudley's telling us, Dudley. If you were born up north, then you would have been a hockey player, and you would have been you would have had three teeth, and you would have you would have spent a lot of time. Red eyes, baby, box. red yeah. eyes. Dudley, the enforcer. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. That is, when I go to NHL games, that's my favorite part. Not them putting the goals in the puck, but dudes getting laid out on the side of the glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, and, and not just must talking today, but uh, there's also but there's a lot of media availabilities today. Yeah, Coach yeah, Pittman there is. At one, it has a Zoom at one thirty. What's top of mind for uh, for you for the start of spring ball? Well, you know, I want to see first who all is healthy. You had some guys going in at the end of the wheel. I mean, the year that uh, you know we're injured. Is Dominic Johnson going to be able to go through spring practice? You know, if, if he is, that just adds to the to the running back room, which I think is obviously really good. Uh, you know, I want to see if they've moved some guys around to different positions. Uh, what does tight end look like? Now, we've got the, you know, got a couple of new guys in here. Uh, uh, one's here. The, the other, uh, tomorrow Easter won't be till, uh, you know, till, uh, this summer, but I want to know what they're going to do at tight end because really, uh, the tight end position has for all intents and purposes been, uh, something that has not been utilized or has not had the athletes and uh, playmakers there. 
to be a big part of the offense is it has so many years at this university where they've produced just great tight ends. And, and uh, that's got to become an integral part, and I'm sure it will with Coach Enos, who, who knows uh, that tight end can be be a playmaker for you. I, I, I don't know how much. I know Coach Nutt used to do this a little bit in spring ball, and, and I loved it. And, of course, I'm a quarterback, so I don't get hit. I had on the green jersey. But the <laughs> one thing, Dudley, I want to see this defense do, we have to tackle better, man. We got two new DCs coming in. I want to see them. They got to tackle this spring and, and, and get it going. Yeah, and I, I, I give a lot of credit to the coaches who have been here. Don't get me wrong mm-hmm. uh, when I say this. But the lack of aggressiveness, the lack of wrapping up, when you left ball games this year, that was the number one thing you talked about with the defense, not about how aggressive they are. They were at all that. You've got a new uh, group of coaches over there. I mean, they have come in and out. Uh, they both are very aggressive, uh, both, uh, you know, in their mindset and their speech. Uh, I think it's going to be a good thing. You had to do something mm-hmm. because it wasn't working, and they have. We'll see how it plays itself out. We had a. I know you know Coach Bobby Allen, but the defense, uh, the defense used to have a rule when the running back would take off that everybody on defense had to go up and touch that player. Like you got to swarm to the ball. It just gets your mindset going the right way. Yeah, Danielle Allen is the toughest Allen. That's the that's the mindset they needed to have. Mm-hmm. Dudley, we'll let you go. I know uh, Coach Muss is speaking in about a minute or so. You want to go cover that? So I'll see you at Baum in a little bit. Thanks for your time. Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from the NFL and bowl season to esports. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. We're the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite leagues and events. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. BetOnline, where the game starts.